Matt, we're back again. We promised the audience that loves you so much an extra well, video on three axis machining, didn't we? We did indeed. We and we're did here to deliver. Indeed. And Matt's great at delivering, like Santa Claus actually, but real. And that's important because, <laughs> oh, I hope no kids are watching this. I apologize if we just ruined that for someone. Now let's get really real, which is the vices that are in front of us. In the world of three axis, a lot of us are don't have the ability, let's say, or maybe don't have the labor because there's such a shortage right now. And that's a global concept, not just here in the U.S., but a global concept in a lot of places, especially when it comes to the quality. So what are we doing? Well, we're figuring out different ways to automate the cells that we're in. Sometimes that's robots, cobots, pallet chain system, bar feeds. In this situation right here, right now that you see behind Matt and I, you see uh, rock lock base and what we call a quick change system. Meaning, although there's not a robot or cobot, we are physically changing out the vices. Now, how many of you out there, I'm gonna ask closer, how many <laughs> of you out there are trying to utilize this situation to automate, but it's just too daggone heavy? And I mean that. I mean, you're now leaving the setup because it's too heavy. And yes, I've done it again, talk too much. Let's talk to Matt now. Matt, the vices that are in front of us right now so much lighter. I know you've seen it. You're in the world of work holding. Mm -hmm. You've been there for a long time. Yep. And we see setups that are much heavier that we just refuse to move. And in fact, in some places like here in the US, it might even be OSHA not approved mm -hmm. to do mm -hmm. it without a robot. Can you elaborate sure. on what I've done a really poor job of describing? You actually did a very good job. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. So, so behind us, uh, what you're seeing is our what we call our multi-position rock lock plate. So it's basically our three-axis quick change plate. So instead of a big traditional tooling plate, we just split them up into smaller modular units, basically. So that product line has been very, very successful. Uh, simplifies programming, simplifies setups. We've been doing a lot of stuff with uh, up-and-coming machinists because it allows us to give them uh, preset positions so we don't have to worry about them loading machines without a lot of uh, you know basically teaching making sure the vices are in the correct position we can just tell them what position the vice needs to go in and they'll pop it in there it's already saved we're good to go so that that's a big consideration with that with the success of that product we've noticed that more traditional vices are being adapted to our quick change system but people aren't changing the vices that frequently. So they are with some of the smaller units, but the larger units, they're just heavy and kind of awkward. So to, so to pair with our three axis multi-position plates, we're like, we need a line of very efficient, more modern, you know, single and double station vices, little bit smaller footprint, you know, same rigidity, but much, much lighter. So much easier to quick change because if you're gonna quick change, you don't want it to be so laborious or so heavy that no one ever does it. There's no point in that. So that's where these, these products come in. Um, and we're really excited about these. So a, a very you know affordable price point, uh, aluminum base, steel rails, a bunch of cool technology, remover, removable gripper teeth, um, you know, very flexible, very modular like we do everything else. And, and very reasonable to load and unload. So. You know, I'm listening to this whole conversation and one thing that I think is very important to reiterate, and even though common sense is now considered a superpower, sure. we do probably say that what I'm about to say is very common sense, yeah. but I have to do yeah. it anyway. And it's the part where you said, same durability, yeah. same reliability exactly. in what is going on in a lot of standard setups, right? hundred percent. I just want to amplify yeah. that point because if I'm looking at this and I'm looking at this, that's my very first question Absolutely. is, can I still do and hold the same strength and rigidity as I would be able to on a much heavier unit? Exactly. Yeah, you absolutely can. So there's a lot of stuff that we do with the pitch of the lead screw, the way we make our trucks to allow you to give the, the same clamping force out of a much smaller unit. And as you've seen with us here in California, I mean, our way of sort of three axis automation, if you will, is to maximize the amount of parts on the, the machine table, right? So instead of buying multiple machines, we'll make sure that each machine is running as efficiently as possible. And we do that with compact vices. So we can load them up and, you know, run 12 parts on you know, a three axis where most people would run one or two. 
Um, I think we have a little bit of time to sidestep, but still talk about this sure. product. And the reason I say sidestep is because I want the people watching to truly understand and you and I have talked about this before, yeah. like we do most things when it comes to work holding, truly understand the benefit of this setup. Sure. And what I mean by that is on turning centers, the easiest to adapt situation, in my opinion, maybe Matt agrees or doesn't, is a bar feed. And it's just, yeah. it, it's cost effective, it's plug and play. When I look at machining centers like this, when I think of vertical machining centers, Sure, we can do robots and cobots, and maybe that's a part that we're gonna invest in at some point, but this is the easiest, most mm -hmm. cost-effective way to instantly start automating your cell. And when I think about that, man, the reason we're yeah. saying that over and over and over again is because there is a large majority of this world mm -hmm. who invested in three access machines over the last three or four decades that aren't ready to buy new machines, to your point, sure. perfectly to your point. Yeah. And they need to update that technology without buying a quarter million dollar machine or a hundred thousand dollar machine. This is the solution. In Absolutely. my opinion, this is the solution. You'd agree with that, right? Absolutely. I mean, so we consider a lot of this, like it, this is a level of automation, right? You're right. maximizing your uptime and minimizing your downtime, which is however you slice it, whether it's a robot or, you know, a, a modular system like this, it's automation. So it's, it's making sure you're as efficient as possible with the tooling and the machine you have. And again, back to the flexibility, being very flexible and module. So if you need to take all that stuff off the machine table for, you know, a bigger job, it's really simple to do. You have, you're not locked into a set, you know, that machine's dedicated to do this. So you want that level of flexibility. We've, we've been machining for too long. Like you, you never know what's coming down the pipeline and you gotta be prepared, so. Uh, you're spot on about that. And walking around here at Fifth Axis and, and you guys have the latest and greatest. You, you've do. invested in the technology to make sure that your work holding is gonna be discussionably the best. Sure. Right? We'll let everyone discuss. Yeah, absolutely. And we're here to describe what we're creating here, yeah. but, but discussionably the best. Now, something that comes into my mind when you describe this setup is a horizontal machining center, which yeah. I know you have some of. We and do. almost every salesperson I've ever talked to, if you you say, why would I invest in a horizontal machining center? Well, it's because on the average, I'm able to take multiple tasks and multiple machines work, pop it onto a horizontal side. Exactly. And that's the exact same thing we're saying here. Yeah, is absolutely. If you need to update that vertical machining center, just do more on the inside, sure, right? Sure, oh, 100%, 100%. We, we obviously do a lot with horizontals. Uh, you know, fixturing and stuff can get more complicated, right? So that's why most people start with a vertical. They might get a you know slightly bigger three axis. So we've exactly taken that same concept and applied it to your three axis because worldwide it's the most popular, you know, machine type available, right? It is what most people have. Uh, even if you have multi-axis or horizontal, you probably have a fleet of three axis and they tend to be the ones that we see are most underutilized in terms of efficiency. They're just often forgotten about. Totally agree so. with that. I think there's only one thing left to do now, Matt, and that's actually to pick a couple of these sure. up and show Let's the difference. It. And before I do this, and yes, I have to do I've this. I've been waiting all day for this. Of course he has, because I'm probably gonna drop it. Uh, and I'm not that strong. Um, but going back to the quick change system, the ability it's in the name, right? The Rock Lock Quick Change System. Even the alarm's going off. It's, it's so excited yeah, exactly. right now about me getting ready to drop this vice. But the whole point, it's in the system, in the name, is the ability to remove and replace at a high rate without hurting yourself. We don't want any of you going to your insurance, your human resources with a bad back because you reach too far into your machine and hurt yourself, which is probably what I'm about to do. Yep. Yeah, yeah you looking forward to this? Yeah, All right, yeah, enough yeah. with the talk. Let's just show you. Let's physically show you. All right, I'm putting the mic microphone right. down. Let's see it. One hand, just so you know. Look, one <laughs> hand. <laughs> I'm not lying, I'm not. I did not exaggerate that They're at all. That dead is serious. Literally my weakness or that heaviness, I'll yeah. let Matt decide, was that? It, it's that heavy. I mean, this unit right here is around 17 pounds. And that unit you picked up is roughly 65 plus pounds. And to close it's substantial. Out, does the same thing. Exactly. Does the same exact thing. Is yeah. it any Just easier than what Fifth Axis does for yeah. us? More for do you have any closing statements? Because I think no, me that, falling that over pretty much day. did it, right? Yeah. Well, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. <laughs>